A right circular cone has a volume of 0.25 pi and a height of 16 meters. What is the radius in meters of the base of the cone? Okay, so to find this one, you say 1 fourth pi. I like 1 fourth, you could do 0.25, but I like to have it in this form. So you're going to have 1 fourth pi equals 1 third pi r squared times the height, which is going to be 16. So let's move everything over. The pi's are going to cancel, and then this will get moved over, and this will get moved over, right? So our new equation is going to be 3 64ths equals r squared. So now we're just going to square root both sides, and we're going to get root 3 over 8 equals r, and that is a. So the biggest mistake people make here is, well, first of all, freaking out or forgetting the one third as one of the values. And then a smaller mistake that people don't even think of as a mistake is not knowing the equation and using the reference sheet for the equation. You don't wanna do that. Like you can use it, I guess, but really you wanna have these equations buried in your head and being automatic with them. Otherwise you're wasting time. And if you don't have them memorized in your head, you're probably not super comfortable with them. So I would really recommend that you do it this way and have those equations ready to use. Cones and pyramids come up a lot on the SAT, and they seem to be ones that students come back to me more and more asking for help on. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and click on the linked video for more questions predicting the March test.